Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metso. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello, hello, hello. We are here in Youngstown, Ohio, wherever the fuck that is. <laughs> and we are in our final week leading up to SummerSlam. And we don't even know half the SummerSlam card, so the next three shows are going to mean a hell of a lot to the JFW universe. We're going to hopefully find out who our tag team will be to challenge for the Two Heads Championship against the fucking rats. We don't even know who Tony Blaze Portly is going to defend against with the World Heavyweight Championship title. And speaking of titles that... Really, we don't know what the fuck is going on with. We are now in our EAB belt, the Extra Arms belt division, the super heavyweights. And we are opening our show with a Tarsus versus First Urgle Extreme Rules match. And maybe one of these two guys coming out victorious will be the one to, I'm sure, get fucked over once again on Sunday night by Jimmy Min Max Tastic, the... Hashtag not my champ, current EAB champion. Whoa, he never screwed anybody. Well, except for the guy standing there with his thumbs up, Tarsus. And you look at Tarsus there, and that's a guy who had a title shot that he uh, earned with his hard work and good wrestling skills, stolen away from him by the duplicitous Jimmy Minmax Tastic at our last pay per view. And here he is coming out for a little bit of revenge uh, if he can get past the Kurgle. We do not have the official word that the winner of this match will go on to face Jimmy Minmax Tastic, but these are the top two guys that have uh, that have uh, really got a stake on uh, that title shot on Sunday. So you got to believe the winner of this match is going to get to challenge for the title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a long one too, Jim. <laughs> that was good. It isn't this you coming just... Sunday, by the way. It's the Sunday after, just so you know. Wait, what? What? It's the second. Wait, another week of this bullshit? Yeah, another week of this bullshit. Yeah, it's August the 2nd. Are you serious? I legitimately thought it was this weekend. No, it's not, no. Oh, motherfuck. Okay, well, at least I know what day it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the impression you thought it was this coming Sunday, yeah. Yeah, because I said it like four times yeah. last week and this week. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a real goddamn sleuth, Jim. <laughs> All right, well. Well. well, whoever wins this match could enter next week with a leg up on the competition to maybe get a chance at the EAB belt. <laughs> I'm a real sleuth. <laughs> I only said it a half dozen times in the last five days. How'd you figure that one out, Sherlock? <laughs> oh, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll turn my sound down a little bit. I'll turn my sound down a little bit, sorry. Amazing. Oh, dear. No, no, Kurgor's definitely the Kurgor look. You can see because he's got glowing. He's got. He's a. He's like a ghostly. Look at that. He's got a ghostly. But you can't. You can't replicate a kind of ghostly face, can you? I mean, I I do tend to agree on this one. Yeah. And he looks like he is out there. He is fire and fury, and he's looking for Tarsus's testicles. And <laughs> uh, yeah, here we go. Tarsus versus the Kurgor. And this is super extreme heavyweight rules. division. This is oh yeah, and yeah, extreme rules. I'm sure that won't come into play. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, you know what you got. <laughs> um, yeah, every match tonight is extreme rules. So uh, yeah. that means ball shots are on the menu, and <laughs> more likely than the uh, than weapon usage. But you never know. Yeah. Oh, a little back and forth with the uh, the dragon screw counters there, mm. and uh, Tarsus gets the better of it. And oh, look at this deadlift! Their deadlift gut wrench, something. Slam. Gut wrench! Oh, slam! Gut wrench slam there. Nicely done by Tarsus. Big man to be, you know, manhandling an armored knight like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very impressive. 
Is he giving up a few inches there to, to Kurgle? I, I think I think Kurgle's a little bit taller, isn't he? Um, I don't know. I haven't measured them. Yeah, it's pretty close. I've only measured different uh, aspects of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you... and out of the ring goes Kurgle. Looks like he's looking for something. Structural, Structural kendo, kendo stick. stick. Sledgehammer, maybe? No, a ladder. ladder. <laughs> That's a bold choice for the big man. <laughs> but, it, but it finds a home and instantly gets placed down. But it did the damage on Tarsus, and now Kurgle coming right back. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Not if Tarsus has got anything to do with it. He's got the classic JFW name on ass. Yep, that is a staple of the JFW. And it's time, Jimmy, to let my dog out. <laughs> okay, what an intro for that it was. Oh, dear me. You don't like the glowy face. I like the glowy face. Yeah, well, we're not going to take advice from, like, a 45-year-old with dentures, did I? So. <laughs> Design advice. Mm. Mean. Actually, J5's teeth probably look way cooler than both of ours. <laughs> Other than my one awesome gold tooth. Unfortunately, it's in the back of my mouth. <laughs> and the crowd is out too. <laughs> oh, a two count already. Uh, two count by Tarsus. Uh, sometimes we get that, the opening match jitters. Oh, Tarsus looking to... Looking to brain worms out in the <laughs> turnbuckles. Oh, baby. That's going to cost him, oh, I think. Oh, yep, oh. and sure enough, it does. Oh, boy, look at that. Oh. What a move. Hey, I don't think I've ever seen a German suplex from Turbo before. No. I mean, I'm sure I have. I just never took note of it. Looks yeah. great, though. Yeah, it does. Only a one count that time. What a maneuver. Oh, oh. look at that. He just bodies him down to the ground. Took it out of him, though, lifting such a heavy yeah. weight. The yeah. armored oh. Kurgo. Oh, but he sends him flying out of the ring right onto that ladder. Now he's going top rope again. He's going to try. Not quite. He's going turnbuckle again. Ugh. We've seen this match not end matches before. Or move. <laughs> Fuck. I fucked it all up. Oh, Kurgo. I got to say, it's impressive. It is impressive how uh, how he can glide so nicely with his steps. I bet he's got a good moonwalk in him, too. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Kurgles. British, Scottish, English. Um, Egyptian. One of them. Egyptian. <laughs> I don't think we've seen Kurgle around in a long time. No, no, we haven't. Egyptian a was, uh, what's he called? I think that's what Connery was meant to be, wasn't he, in Highlander? But he'd, like, you know, he'd been... Oh, no, it was Ramirez he was called, wasn't he? So, I don't know, Spanish was he meant to be? Big stalling suplex there. And this is just hey! a hoss plate. Oh, he's got it. He figured out how to get under the ropes. Top rope, Tarsus, here we go. He is the world's biggest luchador. And he drops the elbow right into the spine. And he's looking for his three count now. This might be a little hopeful, Jim. Maybe. Maybe not. No. Well, Tarsus winning that match easily. And that looks like big trouble for Jimmy Min-Max-Tastic. The one man he couldn't beat. He just had to screw him over to get him out of the way to get his title shot. But it looks like he's got an angry, fat luchador breathing down his neck. And it could be his reckoning in just a few days and an extra week at SummerSlam. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Jimmy will beat him easily. I mean, Jimmy Fantastic's way better than Tarsus, isn't he? And well, Jimmy does have one thing going for him, Jim. Mr. Jim McMahon came out and threatened Tarsus' career, saying he would fire him if he made a stink about the decision. And I don't know, I don't know about you, but it sure looks like he intends to cause hell for Jimps McMahon, Jimps, Jimmy Min Max Tastic, and all the other hooligans that have seized the top belt in this business. <laughs> hooligans. Hooligans. <laughs> the hool hooligans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quick and efficient. Tarsus cleaning house in the Extreme Rules match. 
can't wait to see what the road lies ahead. But good Lord, if you want to talk about nepotism, here you go. The current Money in the Ass winner and holder, Ardvac, was challenged by Table Leg Wanger last week. A challenge that can't really be laid in my books. Uh, Ardvac not accepting, but uh, definitely there was a little bit of sparks flying between the two. And now, all of a sudden, Ardvac finds himself in a one-on-two tornado tag match outnumbered against the EAB hashtag not my champion champion Jimmy Minmax Tastic and Table Leg Wanger. Sure looks like the standard issue JFW punishment match to me, Jim. Yeah, it sure does. Brutal extreme rules again, so ball shots <laughs> and weapons could be used. <laughs> uh, we, we Table Leg has been known to dig deep into the testicular region. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He sure has. Yeah. Yeah, Ardvac uh, also, uh, yeah, very likely in the line of fire because he has a uh, a uh, recently bur- uh, bol- bolstered racing career. And I'm um, hearing rumors that he actually outpaced Jimmy Minmax Tastic on the track. Jimmy, of course, you know, taking the millions he makes from the McMahons and investing it into this vanity project of eye crashing. And Ardvac comes into one race and beat him. <laughs> yeah, he's about half a second faster for a lap. Wow. Yeah. Maybe he should think about cashing in on that EAB belt. He could qualify it for it. Remember, you can always go up divisions in weight class if you want to compete higher. You just can't go lower. Yeah. Oh, get ready. Get ready to fap everybody. Best entrance in JF dub. Glorious. Are we gonna have to watch it twice? No. Or maybe. But we're a tag team. <laughs> we sure fucking are. Oh my god, I hate our production group. Yeah, they should have come out as a tag team. <laughs> they're a tag team. They should come out as a tag team, shouldn't they? They're not a tag team. They're two solo wrestlers. No, they're a that tag are team. best buddies. Oh, I didn't set them as a tag team. I don't think I've ever seen them tag in my life. Oh, I've seen them manage each other. I've never seen them tag. No, that yeah, you have because they've got they've got the uh, they've got the bar entrance. Uh, oh, maybe maybe on the pre-show though. Yeah, probably just on the pre-show. Fuck. <laughs> well, a little early on that one, Frost Lord Army, because uh, the table like Wanger is hashtag no one's champ. <laughs> <laughs> wow, J5, you got some bad taste, in my opinion, of course, seeing as it's all opinions. Oh, shit, I can't... The enemy must only be a tank team in... In not universe. Fuck. The good thing is, I, I did sort out um, the snackers and my AAF in universe. So. Well, good news is we have the ability to skip entrances, so we don't have to sit through that bullshit anymore. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know there's a zero percent chance we're skipping Jimmy Min Max Tastic's entrance. I understand. Yeah. Look how good this is. We just watched it with a bigger man. Yeah, but now it's a more attractive man with a belt. Oh, sounds like some sparks flying on Team Fantastic. <laughs> Jimmy Minmax Tastic <laughs> secretly seeding his uh, his mouthpiece in the booth to uh, slag uh, Table Leg Wanger's appearance a little bit there. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get it done, folks. That's how you get it done. And look at this. Jimmy Fantastic's wearing a skirt now. That must be more comfortable. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Looks like he borrowed it from Unseen Walker, <laughs> put a couple stickers on it, and called it a day. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, easily countered by Ardback. 
But hey, what do you know? There's two men fighting you at the exact same time, <laughs> both of them slightly larger than you. <laughs> what do you think is going to go down here, Jim? Um, well, you know, this is a big test for Jimmy Fantastic, and if he wins it, then he's undisputably the greatest of all time. And <laughs> and also, Wanger is just going to be, you know, absolutely top of the pile as well. This, if they can, you know, this is... The money in the ass champion, you know, the money in the ass briefcase holder. So if they can somehow beat him, it'll be quite an achievement. Yeah, the hashtag not my champs raining down thunderously from the JFW universe. <laughs> no one happy with this. This this is what we call the fucking piss break match. <laughs> Be brutally honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy, Jimmy, <laughs> trying to trying to take a few licks at the uh, turnbuckles, a bold strategy. But here we go, table leg locking in a, a clover leaf. <laughs> well, Frostlord, you probably have to win something of note for him to want to do that. <laughs> I'll make a fucking cat on my blood bowl team. <laughs> yeah oh no look at that Jimmy looked like he tried to punch table leg there no definitely not well the only other thing is uh, brain worms causing him to punch the air in which case he might not be medically cleared to wrestle and should probably be off TV Oh, which maybe means that even have to relinquish that extra arms belt no he'd just get to keep it wouldn't he forever that sounds good uh, most most people with integrity would generally drop the belt when they go into an extended injury break. <laughs> oh, God, <I'm> double <laughs> the double punches, and Ardvac can do nothing about this whatsoever. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, this is great to watch. Yeah. I don't think anyone else in the JFW is feeling that way, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Please don't hurt him. I don't think that one's going to be. Listen, oh, God, look at oh, that. Oh, dear. <laughs> Lemon, yeah, maybe. Six feet down under could be recruiting, folks. <laughs> oh, Jesus and the second the second the uh the shoulder massage ends he finds table leg wanger's boot and then gets the neck breaker oh, he's dragging his <laughs> just dead oh the blood monster Whoa. jimmy not even wrestling just posing for the hard cam now <laughs> just tap out man just tap out end it <laughs> Oh, no, he's going to count. <laughs> now, the second Jimmy starts wrestling, you see what he's really worth. Not much. <laughs> oh. Oh, and table leg to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kick out at two. Just stay down, man. Just stay down. Yeah, who knows who's going to win? This is some and really good back and forth. Oh, well, well, I see. He wanted and to make sure Jimmy turn, got man. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you worry about uh, card space J5 because we have one hell of a main event booked tonight and you are playing a big role in it and that is going to be the unnatural snackers, all three of them, including Muffin Pac-Man against Mighty AF. Or was that on Friday? That's, to that's tonight. Okay, good. I was like, wait, did I already watch that? Oh, God. Oh, no, table leg. No. Oh, table leg. A missed cue by table leg. And now, Team Fantastic in absolutely no trouble whatsoever. <laughs> J5. <laughs> It's extreme rules can't get can't get DQ. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry, 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 Lemon. I'll try not to laugh. <laughs> oh, brutal shoulder massage. Oh, we're looking for a gym. Oh button. no! Oh, it looks like table leg might have uh, 
Yeah, Table Leg might have stolen this one, going for the sharpshooter. He wants to be the one to end this. Good game. Instant counter. No, counters right out of it, though. And now he's probably about to get rock bottomed. <laughs> no, this oh, the disarmer. Wow, Table Leg, not. Oh, yeah, there he is, breaking it up. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> what is he thinking? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, this is great, isn't it? The JFW snuff film rolls on, <laughs> folks. Oh, table leg going up for that elbow drop again. Yeah. Jimmy is down and out right now. If table leg misses this up, he could be in some trouble here. <laughs> no, he, he, he doesn't. Drives the elbow through the skull. Whoa, God. And the big me. suplex. And now I think we're going to see a rock bottom and the finish. Oh, no. no, not quite yet. Just the finish, maybe. No, uh, Jimmy, way. fantastic, taking his time. Probably feels like because he whiffed on all of his moves earlier, he needs to get some in when the, when most of his legs are already broken and his opponent <laughs> can't fight back. Oh, no, sent out of the ring. What? Jimmy, I think, hurt his axe. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, but a oh powerbomb coming. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. No, he threw him, threw him into the turnbuckle instead. Oh. <laughs> Go on, Jim. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jim just can't lock it in. Needs Stable Leg to do a little bit more work here. <laughs> ah, yes. Good bit of taunting. Well done, Jim. <laughs> Table Leg stealing all of Jim's thunder once again. Oh, good <laughs> lord. <laughs> oh, my God. Somebody call the match. Call the match. Oh, God. Look at that stump on that. Face. <laughs> he does, yes, Tony, yeah. Brilliant, eh? <laughs> oh, man. Yes, oh, well, Jimmy man. hung up on the ropes, but now table like there again. <laughs> oh, the super kick. That's it. Oh, he falls over for the pin. <laughs> and he kicks out of two. It has taken everything that Jimmy Mimmax does to the table like Wagger have to keep our back down, and it hasn't been enough. <laughs> oh my God. Ardback could just become a legend if he were to be the first man to win in a JFW punishment match. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, he's getting a hammer here. <laughs> His oh good lord! Do you have do you have bezel bezel trumps on? Of course I do. Okay, good man. <laughs> oh, oh, him over. I gotta let the dogs in. Let me know if I miss anything, Jim. <laughs> Some miscommunications here as Jimmy and Wang are both trying to kick the fuck out of <laughs> I think I think Ardback's biggest defense in this match is that Jimmy and Table Leg are too eager to strike him and getting in each other's way. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy needs a little bit of a breather after this serious workout. Oh, he stepped in front of that for 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 table leg. Oh, no, it didn't matter. What a hero <laughs> taking a drop kick for him, man. Eh? That's what oh, friends are for. Table leg trying for the elbow drop one more time. Will Jimmy fuck it up for him? He yep. will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <t> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Ardback is bleeding from the head here. <laughs> Profusely. He has not got his wish granted of please don't hurt me. <laughs> he has been hurt. 
a lot, but he's not going to give up, is he? He's, he's kept kicking out. Sure has. I think, however, we're moments away from Rock Bottom. <laughs> oh, no! Jimmy <laughs> just struck Table Leg! Jimmy wants to end this match on his own. He just struck Table Leg. Table Leg is down. Could this be the end of Team Fantastic? We can only fucking dream. <laughs> Back, he just what can you say about the guy? It's crazy, isn't it? He's just got beaten down constantly. It's almost like the whole please don't hurt me thing is a complete stick a uh, shtick because uh he can take a fucking beating. <laughs> he can, can he? The power of the sandals. Oh no! You. Incidental contact on Jimmy's nether regions there, but the knee stop and now the pin, we've seen that in matches before. <laughs> But not this time. <laughs> oh, well, that's a little Oh, God. Oh, no, another miscue. And now the rock bottom interrupted. Oh, this is going to go on for fucking ever. Or not. Here it goes. These two both looking to be the one to finish it off. And you got to wonder. A part of you has got to ask, Jim. Could it be a little bit of friction on Team Fantastic here as Table Leg is vying for this money in the ass contract? The only out oh, there it is. That's that's that. But the only belt that he can cash in on is the extra arms belt. So if he does get his shot and win it, he'll be breathing down Jim's neck or Jimmy Minmax Fastic's neck. Yeah, that's a good point. Very good point. But, Wanger is a super heavy, isn't he? Yeah. All that's been done here is Jimmy Minmax Fastic finally getting his finisher off, finally getting the pin, and mercifully. Letting Hardback go back for the medical attention he desperately needs. <laughs> yeah, that might uh, that might have tilted the odds in Wang's favor for SummerSlam. Yeah, that could be that could be a serious injury. Uh, I mean, well, that match hasn't offic uh, hasn't officially been booked yet. Was it officially booked? Uh, I think it's I think it's. Uh... I mean, I think I I'm pretty sure the powers that be will use this victory to say that Hardback is not. The competitor, the table leg is. Um, so. One second, I've just got a, just getting something in my ear. Yep, um, I've just got word from Mr. Jim Smith Man, and he says that this match proves that Ardback is not the competitor that Table Leg Wanger is. I'm fucking shocked. I'm shocked. Why not, Jim? Why not? <laughs> oh, brilliant, isn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah, and here we go. The two heads champions, the fucking rats, taking on Donsk Donsk Revolution, another top team in the tag division. They faded as of late without netting some big wins, even though they've had some stellar performances. They were left out of a lot of the uh, pairings last week, and this is their time to shine. But this has got to be basically a win and in, uh, or a winner, uh, that, a single elimination kind of thing for DDR. If they lose this match, you've got to believe there's no shot for them to get into SummerSlam for the Two Heads Championship. Absolutely. Oh, and look at this cocky trending number one on Twitter at the moment right now. Hashtag Jimmy's the true champion. Oh, thank you very much, cocky. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> yeah, well, this is uh, wouldn't be the first time in the last 48 hours that Twitter got hacked. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, lemon. <laughs> That's just like your opinion. They lost, they got counted out. Fair and square versus Das Out. <laughs> well, Lemon, you're gonna get your chance to lobby. There are still several episodes of JFW action left before SummerSlam. And something tells me that we're going to go right up until the Friday before SummerSlam, if not going in to SummerSlam, wondering who is going to fill that spot because so many competitors have been buying for so long to get it. And I just cannot wait to see who rises to the top and goes into SummerSlam to take on the fucking rats. <laughs> 
<laughs> and hey, maybe it's possible, Jim. Maybe we'll see a multi man. Like it would it would make a bit of sense to put a lot of tag teams in one match together to sort this all out. It would indeed, yeah. But you but you gotta believe if you're the challengers, actually if you're the fucking rats, you really don't want that. You want a one on one that you can win. But I say that and the fucking rats win everything we throw at them, so maybe they just don't care. Yeah, maybe. I think, you know, I mean, they, they have lost a few times on, no, you know, on Claw and Stand Firm, but when it comes to the pay-per-views, they're, uh, they're formidable. <laughs> I, I tend to, I, I do tend to agree, Lemon, but when you've got three different competitors, I mean, some of the most legendary wrestling matches of all times have been tag team title matches. Uh, all the TLCs of the days with, with multiple tag teams in it. You know, the Edge and Christians, the Hardys, the Dudleys, all vying for those titles. You know, who's to say that a big show like SummerSlam would be better suited to just being that straight up one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, and I happen to know that uh, personally, Mr. Jim McMahon's favorite tag team match is a TLC triple tag score. Yeah, well, that leads me to believe that I don't think Jim has ever been wrong in predicting Jim McMahon for some weird reason. So <laughs> we will have to wait and see, folks. Yeah. And here we go. PTK rising, rising up for this one. He's got a spring in his step. And we are off. And the ref taking some contact <laughs> from Z-Talk right off the bat. And already, oh, no, the ref just got stepped on, too. Oh, dear. Oh, God. And an early pin. He's got a two count. <laughs> no, he counters out. Counters out again. Counters out again. He's got the ropes. <laughs> and finally, we've ended that nonsense. I thought that was about over. If the ref had been counting earlier, it would have been. Yeah, that was crazy. Bad start for PTK and Don Stunt's Revolution. Oh, so let's see. Oh, my goodness. The baseball bat. He just fucking murdered Chunter. Yeah. Chunter, Chunter just dub stalled his red dice, baby. <laughs> fucking battered. But yet somehow he's able to fight back. I feel like the uh, the baseball bats in the JFW aren't quite as lethal as ones in real life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe it's a wiffle bat, a wiffle ball bat spray painted black. Yeah, maybe because you gotta feel like you'd be dead, literally be dead if that had happened. <laughs> Well, I mean, it did happen, Jim. We're watching. It just happened right now. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Kayfabe, hashtag kayfabe, not dead. Okay, yeah. What does kayfabe mean? This is just real life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, boy, we're missing a lot of punches there, PTK. Let's get our shit together. <laughs> and here we go. One on one here, but one of each dominating. Oh no, now, look at this, Downstown's Revolution with a flurry, and now they're standing tall. Yeah. Ooh, the rat's in some trouble here. Oh, oh, oh the shoulder massage, watch out. Yeah, exactly, Lemon, it made perfect sense and was uh, scientifically viable, and uh, yeah, I don't know why anyone would question uh, the authenticity of that storyline. Yeah. Absolutely. I literally don't know what happened, but now all of a sudden Z-Talk, who was dominating a second ago, is basically dead outside the ring. Yeah. But here it is, PTK versus Finney. Chunter also outside the ring. Come on, PTK, get your shit together. Let's see let's see what Dance Dance Revolution can bring to the tag division. Oh, boy. <laughs> Finney counters out, but here comes Z-Talk. <laughs> oh, look at that from Chunter. What a maneuver. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, PTK counters Count, the Yeah, man. the big counter by the D big D man. D oh, Finney, though. Oh, going on for a weapon, maybe. Whew. 
tosses off Chunter there. Grabbing a table. Oh, maybe he heard you talking about TLC matches, Jim. <laughs> Trying to impress the boss with a table. Yep. And he gets his attempt broken up before it starts by PTK. Yep. PTK is on fire right now. Oh, slams him onto that table. Ooh. Forgot to extend it, though. Didn't break it. That's still going to take something out of out of Finney there. Absolutely. And Z-Talk in some shape, too, here. Ooh. Oh, this isn't great. No, counters out. Z-Talk counters. And look at this. Dance stamps. Revolution. Oh, Chunter. Chunter all, all the way out of the ring. And Finney is now in serious trouble. Yeah. The arm bar locked in. Don't think that's going to do it. No. Come on, PTK. Get in there. Help your tag team. <laughs> anytime. Anytime. Yeah. Yep. No, no. Nothing went well there for PTK. <laughs> but now he's outside the ring and getting punched. <laughs> oh, the self rock bottom on, on PTK. Z-Talk stirring slowly. <laughs> Crystal walls of Chunter. Well, that is not the best place for that maneuver. It really isn't. It doesn't tap anywhere though, so. Oh. K Fog looking for the looking for oh god look at it. He's looking for the move. Yes, he was looking for the move. Excellent commentary as always, Jim. Oh. Zito did a move. Yeah, absolutely. That beautiful military press into uh, standing us uh, 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 the, the, the moonsault. Yeah, and Chunder did a move as well. Yeah, they tend to do that when they're wrestling, Jim. <laughs> oh, Finny did a move. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm really tired. I can tell. I, I like chicken. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can tell. <laughs> All right, and look at this. Finney going top rope. Z-Talk prone in the center of the ring. Nope, nope, Finney. Is Finney uh, going took too wrong. Yes, he is. Oh, not. now he goes top rope. Oh, God, what happened there? <laughs> no. Oh, Chunter top there. rope instead. Oh, he misses. No, nobody home. He misses with the elbow drop. <laughs> That was some oh, poor communication by the rats. And now look at this. Oh, no. was looking for. The choke slam. Chunter's out of the ring. Go for the pin, you idiot. The pin. <laughs> yeah, Z Talk knows what's up. <laughs> and that's it. Don Stutz Revolution wins. I did not see that coming. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> And there it is, your winners, Dance Dance Revolution, upsetting the fucking rats. And once again, the tag team division is just up for fucking grabs. Yeah, not certainly. Uh... You, what you heard with that choke slam was just a collective sigh of disappointment from Lemon is Good, Fant Fox, J5, Satterfield. Uh, fucking the fucking two dead guys. Everyone just disappointed that they couldn't see one Get tag team fall out cunt. of this <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Fuck off. Thanks, Frosty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry about that. Gorilla metal. Gorilla metal. <laughs> right. Well, uh, I, I think I stopped when I heard it, but I might have okay. missed part of it. Right, show me versus Squirrel Dude now. Yeah, the Rude Boy versus the, the Squirrel Man. Um, and uh, so Shawnee recently leaving the tag division behind as his uh, idiot partner, Big Ham himself, Fault Force, abandoned him mid-match. Doesn't look like Shawnee spent a single solitary second of, <laughs> of, of time crying over that one as he's been on an absolute tear since until running into Scurimezzo backstage where he picked a fight that he could not win and now looking to recover by going up against the number one contender in his own division, the Chaos Chosen Championship division, 
maybe Shawnee has eyes on stealing a win here and seeing what happens in the coming weeks with Rick Reckless's Chaos Chosen Championship belt and Squirrel Dude in a match, a guaranteed match at SummerSlam. And if Shawnee can get a win here, he can be the first guy in line to try and take that off the winner. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's definitely what, you know, he's definitely trying to get his name into the uh, title picture, I think, for sure. Making his way to the ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Levin is good. Uh, called out in a smut piece by Kaki's uh, little 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 birds or whoever writes that bullshit. Never got his chance at revenge. Maybe we'll see that in the coming weeks as he looks for anything that he can do to uh, impress the the uh, the powers that be and get himself in that tag division match. <laughs> Or maybe he's too focused on his tag team to worry about uh, the smaller things like the cocky match. Oh no, he'll definitely be thinking about all, all that. Something Man. tells me Lemon uh, doesn't let anything go and he's fuming about about 18 things right now. <laughs> yeah, you can see it in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, really then? Yeah, sure. I was just thinking how good it was seeing the show in this again. And here he is, Squirrel Dude. Spent weeks chasing Rick, thinking every week he'd come out and get a title shot from his former best friend. But now, being, being his eyes have been opened, Jim. I think he sees that this belt has a hold on Rick. And uh, the only way he's going to get it now is by making the company force Rick's hand and defend that title. And he is one-on-one -on -one with Rick Reckless at SummerSlam for the Chaos Chosen Championship. And man, a competitor like Squirrel Dude, a competitor like Rick Reckless, that is going to be a very sound and technically proficient match. And I cannot wait to see that one play out. Yeah, it's going to be incredible. Incredible. We haven't heard from our Rick this week. Hopefully, he'll have a video because you know, there should be a stipulation on the match and we haven't heard what it is. So hopefully that announcement will be on next Monday. Yeah, yeah, we will have to wait and see. Rick, it seems like Rick's, uh, the, the concession the, the ownership made uh, to get Rick back to the uh, negotiation table after he was taking time off, just had a kid from what I heard, but also that title seems to be, maybe it's almost like he had two kids, but uh, <laughs> uh, uh, one of the concessions that seems to be kind of flowing through is that Rick wants to stipulate the match, and you know, I know Rick, I know Squirrel Dude, those guys, what is Shawnee doing? <laughs> those two guys, they probably want to just go mano y mano in a, you know, in the ring against each other. I can't imagine a, too much flair. Maybe we'll see a submission match. Uh, maybe we'll see a, uh, you know, a, a two out of three, something like that. That's what you generally expect from two competitors of the caliber of Squirrel Dude and Rick Reckless. But yeah. right now, Squirrel Dude's got bigger things to worry about than a week and some days away from Sunday. He's got Shawnee to deal with, and here we go. Gundy. It looks like uh, Squirrel Dude looks like he's copied off uh, Jimmy Fantastic for those boots. That's uh, interesting. I can assure you that's not the case. Squirrel Dude butt plug 50%. Oh, total miss. Yeah, and there you go. Tarsus' uh, social media manager really letting the world have it, really upset with his with the current state of things. And again, Tarsus winning earlier tonight should have an easy claim on a title match at SummerSlam. We'll wait and see. But Camp Tarsus is fed up with that, talking about the tag division, which, boy, that's a crowded world to enter in right now. Uh, but really, you know, would have to cut out uh, probably too much weight to get out of the super heavyweight division. So 
We'll see what happens. Will we write a fairy tale ending for Tarsus at SummerSlam? Or will Jimmy Min Max Tastic and Mr. Jim McMahon find yet another way to screw him over and disappoint the JFW universe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear me. <laughs> oh, thanks, Cocky. You're a hero, Jimmy. Look at that. Brilliant. <laughs> Look at him, I will tell you. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry, we are done passing notes to each other right now. <laughs> you can definitely tell that we're typing to each other. <laughs> oh, and Shawnee working those legs, trying to soften them up, get them ready for the figure four. And, you know, when Shawnee was abandoned in that tag match uh, a couple weeks ago, oh! he Oof, went, the, went the distance. Oh, the ref. Ref kind of stuck there. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Bridge is out. Beautiful technical precision, as you'd expect from Squirrel Dude. Oh, a lot of near falls there. But, yeah, Shawnee really went the distance in his match. Almost ended up winning it, too. Uh, but it was finally just the numbers were too much for him. Oh, and there's a calf crutcher locked in on Shawnee. Nope, no luck. Shawnee elbows his way out of it. Both, out, oh, and he flees. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, a big mistake by Squirrel Dude. The finisher outside is going to do some damage, but I don't think he's going to get a pinfall victory now. <laughs> no. Um, he is, yes, Cookie. <laughs> And, you know, of course, Squirrel Dude always had a little bit of a beef with Shawnee. Shawnee created this uh, this Blood Bowl division that he ran for about 18 seconds and then just shirked off all of his responsibilities <laughs> on to Squirrel Dude. That is the SFL, a fantastic league with notable winners, such as the winner three, Skurmetso, <laughs> and maybe some other people, too. But Shawnee, which the league was originally named after, just foisted all of his responsibilities on the squirrel dude, who's now stuck with it. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure getting, uh, well, getting hit in the face by a sledgehammer wasn't part of his plan. But that was. And, uh, yeah, definitely getting to uh, work out a little bit of aggression on Shawnee over that probably feels pretty good for him. Probably, yeah. Oh, double this combination. Yep. The quick punches and kicks by Squirrel Dude. No count outs because it's extreme rules. Yeah. Correct Amundo. But he's still got it's not falls count anywhere, so he's gotta get him back in the ring to finish him off. <laughs> uh, finish him off. Squirrel Dude things. celebrated a little bit too much. Shawnee able to kind of recover. But doesn't look like he's got control of this at all. No. Oh, there's the there's Huge the DDT, man. What do you know? Shawnee's bleeding from the forehead. <laughs> can't seem to avoid that one. No. I know. I can't remember a match where he didn't bleed. <laughs> This could be it. Ooh. Just a two count. Oh, <laughs> drives that elbow right into the injured forehead. That's <laughs> 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 And, uh, yeah, Squirrel Dude failing to put Shawnee away on several occasions in this match now. <laughs> Very good, Jeff. Oh. <laughs> and he's oh, and look at this Shawnee lining up for the figure four. Yep. This could he's be got it. It. it looks like he's going to lock it in. Can, can Squirrel Dude get out of this? Can he reverse it? We've seen that before. 
or will he tap knowing he's got a bigger match to worry about? No, he reverses it. And now Shawnee's stuck in it and Shawnee has to fight his way out. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, devastating knee to the back of the neck. Absolutely savage. And a two count kick out again. The thing is, if Tarsus lost weight, then he really wouldn't look exactly like Jimmy. <laughs> 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 Oh, here we go. The last ride. Yep. I think this might be it for Shawnee. Yep. Yep. And Squirrel Dude, a clean win. You can see he is locked and loaded, and he is ready for SummerSlam. You know, all the niceties between him and Rick in the past. And uh, those seem to have fallen apart a little bit. He wants to go in there, and he is ready for a wrestling match, Jim. Absolutely, yep. He's one of the best wrestlers on the planet. So is Rick. It's going to be quite a feast of sports entertainment. Wrestling, sorry, wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear well the two the two men that have lost their tag team partners one by choice one not by choice calcium versus fall force who and man there's some stories to tell not so much about fall force he just inexplicably decided to quit the tag division but calcium has formerly of scotch milk teamed up with mcnaughton mcnaughton Fell in love, or at least in lust, with his uh, calcium wife, Wendy. Stole her in blatant view, and then these two have just been going at it ever since. And I don't mean like McNaught goes at Wendy. Calcium has been bringing the fight and losing it time after time, ambushing McNaughton, having no effect. And McNaughton doesn't even seem to care at this point. He has so little regard for calcium Taz. But, you know, stories are written about perseverance, Jim. And I got to believe Calcium, who lives his life by saying, this ends when I say it ends. Or whatever his quote is. <laughs> I, I decide think, when it's over. I decide when it's over. Calcium, much like he can't let go of his favorite 80s karate movie, he can't <laughs> let go of the past. And he has designs on making McNaughton pay. And I don't just mean alimony. <laughs> Dead weight versus all weight. <laughs> Big count. Oh, dude. He's very oily, isn't he? Oh, yep. He sure is. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish Jim's hadn't booked this now. <laughs> <laughs> And I know everybody I haven't said hello to. <laughs> Fucking fall folks. <laughs> yeah, then. Yeah, happening. the big man off to a big start. A couple big kicks puts Calcium on his ass. 
And now just, uh, yeah, this is uh, this looks like your standard issue McNaughton versus Calcium match thus far. <laughs> but there is no pain in this dojo. Calcium Cass says, no, you cannot suit me. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> Look at that, no mercy. Hello, Flicky Flack. Oh, God, look at that. Fault Force tossed off calcium. Absolutely. Hey, Flicky. And now the fight spills to the outside between these two very pale British men. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that I would use the word pale to describe Fog Force, but... <laughs> Translucent. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the fucking boiled egg. Humpty Dumpty made real. <laughs> Kickstarter being organised to buy calcium some shoes. He's, he's, like he's like a karate kid, isn't he? <laughs> Where's <laughs> like a funny big time? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not looking good for Carlson if he loses again, is it? Nope, not at all. He's lost like every fight. The only fight he didn't lose was when he ran in and when he kicked for cold. <laughs> uh, he actually lost that too. <laughs> 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 yeah, but you tried to sell it as scaring the right dog away. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking of the run-in. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of the entrance run-in where he definitively lost that. Yeah. Cancel the good match to do so. Too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a shame that the powers that be didn't know how that was going to pan out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, his ankles! His ankles just caught the barrier there. Oof. <laughs> yeah, but Advex footwear is horrific. It's worse than calcium's. <laughs> well, as predictable as the Jimmy and Table Leg versus Artback match was, at least it was a little more interesting than these two. <laughs> <laughs> yep, if you need a piss, now's the time to go. <laughs> yep. Is the next, is the main event on next? I think so, yeah. Yeah. That's going to be a must, a must see. Yeah. I'll find out. <laughs> Yeah. If only someone had made this not extreme rules, <laughs> it could have been counted out and over by now. <laughs> oh yeah, it's quite good as well, the main event. Uh, yeah, Flicky, the, the whole run-in thing is just a mess. Yeah. Uh, I got clarification on how it works for the Night Demon, but um, it, the answer is it doesn't work well. Yeah. Do you know what? I've I've got an idea for what we can do for that next week. Actually, gorilla. All right. Ooh. Just a two count. In the long line of things, Flicky, that I wish worked better, it's not in front of Royal Rumbles. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that, Jim. Nah. I was also, I was actually also thinking about that almost exact thing. So clever, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> big ham, look at that. He's got the big ham knee pads as well now. Pretty cool. Has no longer got the rude ham knee pads. He's got big ham knee pads. Rude ham is Man. officially over. 
calcium uh, sticking in this match, but he hasn't really done much. He's nope. getting manhandled by Fall Force, he's which is, a... let me tell you, that is not where you want to be. Today. No, I mean, he's been a human punching bag, but you've got to remember, calcium is used to fighting nine-year-old children. I, uh, I agree. I believe they're 14-year-olds, to be fair. 14-year-old children is what he's used to, so it's, yeah. you know, him having to fight a fully grown man with this karate bullshit. I, I understand, and I think he'd really do a good job if he had his bow staff. I think he'd do a good job if he was fighting 14-year-old children, to be fair. Yeah, but again, he probably wants a bow staff or some other dumbass ninja weapon that he... No, I just think he wants to be fighting 14-year-old kids. <laughs> <laughs> or have a completely compliant opponent. Who, when they when they brush them, they, they launch themselves flying 30 feet. <laughs> uh, J5, given the last few weeks, I think we have to start using the word allegedly when we talk about Calcium's kids. <laughs> or kids being of Calcium. <laughs> wow, that was that was brutal. That wasn't even just constantly choking him, but he managed to get up there somehow. Oh, the running DDT. I love that DDT. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Fall Force having a big breather there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's ready for a move. Yep, I think this is all but over now. Driver. Yep, <laughs> there it is, the Hamstone Pile Driver. One, <laughs> two, three. Good night, Calcium. Oh, God, look at his cock right in his face. Oh, dude. Oh, no, Calcium kicks out. <laughs> Caught a whiff of, uh, of Fall Force's testicles, and that is probably similar to smelling ammonia and sniffing salt. <laughs> Woke him right up to kick out. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't know the meaning of defeat, Calcium. Not that he's tough or anything, he's just fucking stupid. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I, did, I even couldn't even deliver it properly. Oh, <laughs> oh look at this, the ham. Calcium trying, trying desperately to mount a comeback, just has nothing. Nope, he's looking a bit of a shitter, isn't he? Again, you know, his niche is 14-year-old children or expert Xbox coaches. Or PlayStation coaches, in fact. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, he's up against big boys now. <laughs> yeah, and uh, well, if he keeps this up, he might, he might have to try and cut weight to get down to the cruiserweight division to find an opponent that he might actually be able to handle uh not nothing against the cruiserweights i just mean in weight classes that's the closest you're gonna find to 14 year old children but uh but yeah i mean his uh you know look the jfw only has so many space oh god he caught his chin on the rope there too the uh the jfw only has so many spots and that is it only has so many spots to fill and if Calcium keeps losing so ignominiously, that's not a word. Um, he's going to find himself on the chopping block, I gotta believe. Oh, God, look at this. Oh! It's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> yes, thank you, Bizzle. Yeah, he's been terrible. Oh, I, I can't stand to look, watch the five knuckle shuffle to be honest. But, but. <laughs> <laughs> Fall Force won. Who would have believed it? Uh, Calcium losing again. He's 0 and 6 now. 0 and 7 if you count the uh, <laughs> the other fail <bail> run in. <laughs> God, he just. He might have hurt himself on the strokes. Too. He looked awful when he hit them. Yeah. Yeah, Fault Force a Force to be written with. Absolutely big ham, he's on a tear. Three wins on three wins on the spin for Fault Force. Yep. <laughs> Maybe he'll be fighting a 
Jimmy Fantastic for the title. Eh? Oh, I'm sure that. Oh, I'm sure that's something uh, that Mr. Jim McMahon's mind right now because Paul Force will literally do anything Jimmy tells him. So <laughs> <laughs> that uh, that you just said that, and uh, yeah, my heart stopped when I realized that the fix is probably in there. Oh, that's but a here great we go. We it is now time for your main event. <laughs> A tornado tag, six men in the ring at once. The unnatural snackers, one of the greatest tag teams of all time. Satterfield, J5, and Muppet Pac-Man against Mighty AF. The only thing they've really got is that they're military guys, and that's important in wrestling for some dumb reason. <laughs> Clavius, Frostlord, and Tony plays poorly. Your world heavyweight champion. Oh, yeah. And of course, in the stream, uh, the television titles, Satterfield is the television champ, and Muppet and J5 are the television two heads champions. So they're wow, kind of all the that, golden yeah. TV belts. Yeah, the dark match is really paying off for the Snackers, and we're seeing the results on the main screen, too. Uh, you gotta wonder what, you know, what's going on here. You know, I know these two teams set this match. I don't think it was out of a, uh, a, a point of contention. I got to just believe both of these were, you know, Tony coming out saying, hey, I got to look good. I got SummerSlam coming, and I'm one of the top guys in the business. And I got my man J5, part of Mighty AF, who's on a real tear finally in the tag division. Maybe I want to showcase him, you know, pull in, a, pull in a favor or two as the world champion. Do we have a thing talking? No. Pull in a pull in a you know pull in a favor as as the JFW World Champion and get the Snackers in the main event for a friendly match. Yeah, thank you very much, Cocky, for the three hundred bits. Cock and nuts will can take place after this. <laughs> Glorious. And yeah, I actually uh, I updated the entrances and the celebrations for these two teams. So that's good. Oh it? boy, should be a good time. Oh yeah. Now there they are, bringing joy, snacks, and music to the JFW universe. <laughs> yes, thank you, Cocky. I'll do that before. Hello, Zetok. Zetok with a career saving win earlier tonight. Quick thinking, getting the pin after Tayfod's. Uh, big power bomb! Congratulations on pinning the champs. Not a title match, but it sure puts you in contention for a title match in just a week and a half or two weeks or whatever the fuck it is until <laughs> SummerSlam. <laughs> Nearly two weeks. Two weeks. Why wouldn't he have a trombone dance? <laughs> He almost put it to his lips. We are living in a, uh, a pandemic world, so uh, smart on him to not actually put his lips to that prop. <laughs> I didn't even say it, so you wouldn't get demonetized. Oh, thanks. You probably got demonetized for the uh, Joan Jet song. Though. Maybe. Look at these badasses. Oh, look, they came in the wrong entrance. That's generally what you expect from military guys, always <laughs> coming in the back door. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea, Muppet, yeah. Really try to <laughs> talk over the license music. That is a big one. <laughs> yeah, Jim, go to town. You're a big talker. No, I'm stupid. Look at that. Frostlord flicking his long hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this entrance does not play well with the Discord stream. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, yeah, really just in the max lap for one. Some, 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 yep. Now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mighty AF looks pretty serious tonight. You know, they're they're all business. 
Yes, with that, uh, that three fist salute. <laughs> Indeed, but on the other side, we've seen the unnatural snackers bust out the triple powerbomb on more than one occasion. We have. My Tony's just starting off with a brutal power driver. Jeff, I look like he decapitated him more or less. Jesus Christ. And now, wow, all three of the unnatural snackers on the ground there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a great great opportunity for the snackers. If the snackers win here, they basically cement themselves as the number one contenders, don't they? I got to believe so. But yeah. that is a very tall task. You're looking at a two-time world heavyweight champion and one of the top guys in the Plim Plum Cruiserweight division possibly vying for uh, a chance at that belt if you can pick up a big win on Friday, um, even though there's another Friday afterwards that I forgot about. <laughs> um, oh, here comes a 619 maybe. No, no he didn't have the space. Uh, and also Frostlord, who once wrestled for the EAB championship and failed. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that powerbomb from Tony. Tony's uh, really up for it tonight. It seems. Yeah. And J5 Mike certainly is. isn't. <laughs> Outside <laughs> of the ring, nowhere to be found. <laughs> now Satterfield's tossed out. And J5 getting abused. Frosty's just happy just to watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he oh, he's gonna carry on watching. <laughs> Tony, Tony gets tagged. <laughs> oh, he's targeting J5 now, and now J5, the old flip up. Yeah, really, everyone in this match has uh, has some big accolades. Well, you've definitely got to put Mighty F above. Oh, yeah. Above Clavius, a two-time Chaos Chosen Champion. Satterfield wrestles in the JFW. <laughs> and, yeah, interesting, the whole J5 conflicted loyalties, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't seem to be very conflicted right now, though. No. Oh, look at that one in me. Oh, the snack has taken over here. They sure are. Well, except for J5 in the ring. J5 getting a lovely massage. Love and life. <laughs> Not one to rush out of getting a good massage. Oh, top rope for Muppet. On to the champ. There it is. Lands it. The dead log drop. <laughs> and they got a pin chance here. Yeah, maybe. Well, J5 taking a shit up there. And <laughs> <laughs> Shitting is down. Oh, and here we go. No one, uh, no one helped Johnny or uh, Tony, but it didn't matter. Kicked out of one. God, here we go, vicious elbows to the dome. Savage assault by J5 here. It's like you heard Tony had some fucking white Twix going after him. Now the biggest man facing off the littlest man. Well, actually, I guess Satterfield's probably the biggest man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Satterfield may be the biggest. We haven't, we've got a scene in the showers, really, to find out, haven't we? Uh, I mean, I can tell that that might not determine it enough for you. Oh, J5 <laughs> kicking high while Frostlord went low. <laughs> oh, clubbing blow at the back of J5's neck. Satterfield's happy to pursue Cal Clavius even on that side. The ring. 
Bone punishing Muppet. Oh god. Frosty looking for the pedigree. Tony just happy uh, happy to get done with this one. There's the pedigree on Muppet Pac-Man. No one there to stop it. Oh, Pac-Man stops it himself. Muppet Pac-Man does have a bit of a knack for uh, taking on the big guys. Yeah. He can usually handle a couple of big guys every night, Jim. Yeah, and now all of a sudden there's three Snackers versus Tony in the middle of the ring. Yeah, oh, look at that. J5's full weight comes crashing down from the top turnbuckle. And now, oh, big mistake from J5. Possibly looking for that shape no, round. No, no, it's the curb stomp. Oh, right. Yes, oh, a oh. curb stomp on the champ. The pin. No one there to stop it. Oh. It's just Tony kicks out. kicks out. Yeah, the guy we haven't heard much from in this match is Satterfield. Yeah, he's been on the outside all the time, hasn't he? That's the thing. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, and here we go. Here we go. 619. Sticks it. Here comes the landing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. J5 loving what he sees. <laughs> oh, and a vicious neck crank. Oh, no, I can't have no one. Oh, no, and that's going to exit Muppet from the match. Oh, Santa Toad looking Oh, Satterfield for... was looking for that, that black mask. Not gonna get it. Looks like J5 hasn't got punched yet. Socked in the jaw by Tony. You can almost hear you... Tony saying, Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Oh, stunner, <laughs> stunner on J5. Stunner. And look at that, the stunner. leader of Mighty AF. This is it. Looking to end it on his. Oh. No, J5 oh. kicks out. These guys all want this one. On their way, Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, look at that. Just throws him over there. Oh, God, look at the two broken bodies of Muppet and Satterfield. Well, as as, uh, as Lemon is in, uh, Lemon is in, in uh, mainland America, I'm going to wager it's for the CIA coming forward. Oh, this is it. Clearly, has got Satterfield. No, the kick out again. No one can end this match. This is crazy. Oh, what did J5 do there? Nobody knows. Nope. Clearly is wildly missing with an uppercut as well. Frosty hitting Tony. Yeah, J5 just got double teamed there. Now Satterfield is in huge trouble. <laughs> 3v1. Oh, <laughs> the stomp just busts him open. <laughs> Don't be missing with the punches again. Crikey. Oh, he missed the kick. He did. And there's the, oh, stunner. And the stunner. But J5's oh. there to, to help out, maybe. He has had trouble with this in the past. Oh, the shake, rattle, and roll. Rattle, and roll. <laughs> the shake, <laughs> rattle, and roll. Once again. The shake, <laughs> the shake, rattle, and roll costing J5. <laughs> Once again. Oh. J5 oh. just <laughs> could not bring himself. <laughs> <laughs> to go after Tony to save that match. That move is just the worst thing in J5's arsenal, but it's also the best. But watching him do his little hip wiggle while his partner was counted three count for the loss. Yeah, incredible. Too um, long you can't, so you can't make this stuff up, and that's why it's reality, baby. <laughs> it really is. It's as real Look as at it that, gets. two out of three busted foreheads. That was a war. <laughs> Absolutely. And maybe Frosty's was as well, you can't see under his mask. Yeah, Lemon, you gotta you gotta read what Lemon's writing there, and you can't really shake your head at it other than the fact that it's coming from Lemon. Uh, yeah. 
That is going to be a ding. That kind of backfired. Whatever was going on with Mighty AF and the Unnatural Snackers to try and put him over, that, I think their blood got boiling in that match. And now that could be used as a setback for the Snackers. But that is our main event tonight. And if you need to get caught up on any of this action because you missed a bit, head over to YouTube or JimmyFantastic.com. Search on YouTube for Jimmy Fantastic and find all of your JFW action right there. Uh, my name is Gorilla Metso, and I am happy to be here as always. Jim, thanks for having me. Thank you very much, Gorilla Metso. You're the greatest. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.